welcome to its traffic in this video we are going to learn how we can do calculations in mysql table so first let's log into the mysql server so i'm going to use practice database here that's why i use that uh, practice and inside practice i am going to see the tables what tables are available so so tables so i have these tables academics mark sheet mark std std1 student and student info and let's see what information are there inside academics table so select star from academics so this information are available inside academics table mid admission number unit 1 unit 2 half yearly and annual now i am going to find out the total marks and percentage from this table so we'll write select suppose i am taking on the admission number so ad m and o comma unit 1 comma unit 2 comma hy comma a so these four subjects marks will display after that the next column will be total so we'll calculate this all the four subject marks that's why we'll write unit 1 plus unit 2 and here i'm going to do only the total so no need any brackets uh, sorry then plus hy plus a then we will write uh, as the column name total semicolon of oh, sorry from academics now let's see whether the total number comes or not so you can see in earlier table we have uh, we didn't have the total column but in this table we have the total column also so this way we can find out the total numbers just we have to use plus operators now let's see how we will find out the percentage now suppose uh, let's assume that unit test marks are out of 50 and half million annual marks are out of 100 means the total marks is 300 so just we'll divide the number by 3 now let's write the command so this part will now keep in bracket unit 1 plus unit 2 plus half yearly plus annual then divide by or oh, let's make it total only as total then comma and we'll write again once these things only unit 1 plus unit 2 plus half yearly plus annual break it close and divide by 3 as percentage from the table name it's academics let's see whether it comes or not now you can see the percentage also appeared in the table admission number unit test one unit test two half yearly annual examination total and percentage now you can see after the percentage there are four decimal places i need only two decimal places or just one then how we can do that for that uh, we'll write the command like this way only and here that uh, where we calculate the percentage that part in that part we'll write one function that is round so r o u and the round then bracket and this whole formula will keep inside a bracket then comma and how many number of decimal places i want that one we'll write here uh, suppose i need only one decimal place so we'll write one 
as you can see here round dandruff formula comma 1 means we will keep just one decimal place now let's see the output so here you see there is just one decimal place in the percentage so this way we can find out we can calculate total or percentages in our table now every time to write complex queries is difficult quite every time suppose i have to generate moxie to, i have to write, uh, write a long query now if we create a view of this table along with the total and percentage it will be much easier for us so let's see how we can do that uh, in previous video we have learned already how to create views so same thing I am going to do it here create view then the name of the view suppose I am writing S C A D E M I C academic the original table is academics but here only academic S is not there okay now s and inside the bracket will write the command will write the query so let's copy the query from there i'm going to write only so select admission number then unit 1 unit 2 half yearly annual then unit 1 plus unit 2 plus half yearly plus annual bracket close as total comma again now same thing again unit 1 plus unit 2 plus half yearly plus annual oh we have to round also so here we'll write round round then this one will divide by 3 comma 1 as i'm going to keep just one rounding number as percentage from academics then break it close semicolon let's hit the enter button oops spelling mistake here you need to spelling is wrong so you need to enter now while you are writing queries if you made any mistake uh, so next time you don't have to write the command again from the beginning just you use the arrow button then you will get the uh, previous command whatever you have typed so as I'm getting the command now let's hit the enter so query okay zero rows affected means my table has been created now let's see what information are there inside academics select star from academics so this information are there mid admission number unit one unit two half yearly and annual now let's see what information are there in academic not academics which i just created so here we'll get a uh, few extra column total and percentage admission number unit 1 unit 2 half yearly annual total and percentage now as i have created the view for that again i don't have to write that complex query just simple i can write select star and i can get the information now suppose i want to get the marks of rule number 3 then we can write where admission number equal 3 now we'll get only num marks of 3 now suppose i want the percentage only the total and percentage and admission number then we can write select in place instead of star 
we'll write a d m n o comma total comma percentage from oops a d m n o so we can go uh, get like that so this way we can do calculations in mysql now let's create another uh, table and let's do calculation there i want to create a table called item so create table item then in field i'll keep uh, item id or just id int primary key then next name worker size is 10 comma then uh, quantity then we'll write it here quantity int price int bracket close semicolon now let's enter few records and insert into item values and here item id is 1 name suppose chips quantity 5 packets and price 10 rupee enter let's add uh, one more record to biscuit let's make the prices 30 one more number three and here we'll write uh, any other thing butter suppose quantity 3 and cost 50 now let's see the information select star from item we have this information now I want to find out the total price means how we'll find out we'll have to multiply quantity into price then we'll get the total so let's let's do it select id or id name quantity price comma qty into price from as total from item <clears throat> so like this way we'll get the total marks we'll get the total uh, price now if we uh, want the rounding portions like as money always we have rounded number rounded figure then just we can write here the formula in round we can keep round and we'll write the formula comma can keep two oh sorry there are no rounding figure only so it will not do round so this way we can do calculations and uh, if we don't want to write the query again and again we can store the table inside view so that easily it can be accessed and uh, there are some other functions which i will discuss uh, clearly in next video Suppose I want to find out the total number of quantities. So we can do this way. Uh, we'll write the select sum and we'll write the column name which I am going to calculate like quantity from item. So this will calculate what uh, this 5 plus 5 plus 3 it, uh, the answer should be 13. So it will be 13 and you can see here the column name is sum qty so if you want to change this name then what you will do uh, you will 
just uh, write the column name whatever you want suppose I want to keep a sum only so you can see the column name change now suppose I want to the maximum price maximum cost of the product so we can write here select max price we'll write here as max from item so this way it will display I hope you have uh, understood how calculation works in MySQL and how we can create how we can use view of a table to store the complex queries thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye